Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, which means Icon Upgrade SBC Day. And there is one SBC that we need right now in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. That is the Icon Moments Player Pick. We have been deprived. Yes, I'm going to use the word deprived. We have not seen this SBC when we've wanted it for like the past month. And in all honesty, I just did some looking back. We haven't had an Icon uh, upgrade pack that was a player pick in over a month. We have to go back to the end of April to when we last had our last Prime Icon player pick SBC. We are well and due an Icon Moments player pick pack. And I think after multiple weeks of, you know, we've had the Icon Moments upgrade, the 92 plus two weeks in a row, the 93 plus now for two weeks in a row, EA, it's just time to do it. I know there's going to be plenty more Icon SBCs during the summer months. You've been delaying, right? So that you don't get too far into your Icon SBCs so that you still have a lot of cool ones to release in like, you know, July or whatever. It's time. It is time for an Icon Moments upgrade. We don't have any leaks, but I'm just, I'm really hoping that it's today because if it's not, then whatever SBC they're going to replace this with is going to be an L. And if they don't replace it at all, then we're really going to be disappointed. But I want to again take a look at the potential because the next step from here is the Icon Moments player pick. So we'll take a look at that SBC potentially coming, how much would it cost? And regardless, if it's some other sort of Icon upgrade, I do expect one of those today. And we're going to talk a lot once again about SBC fodder because for you guys that want to do SBCs this week, I think fodder is dirt cheap once again. Um, as I take a look at some of these 86 rated cards, honestly, looking through, a lot of these cards are at their cheapest price they've been almost all year, except for like the first week of the game. 86s are 8,000 coins. The supply is crazy with the high level, uh, you know, packs like the 85 plus star packs that they're running in lightning rounds right now with the high pack weight. So fodder looks really, really investable to me once again. We'll talk about that. Take a look at Syria Tots cards and of course the new team of MLS Tots cards coming in today on Sunday. We'll talk about all of that and more in today's video. So if you're excited and really wanting an Icon Moments player pick, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking off, uh, talking about that. Like we mentioned once again, we have not had an Icon player pick since, uh, and it's literally it's been the end of April, right? If we take a look, the last Prime Icon player pick which EA released was at the end of April, uh, and it's June. It is June 5th, by the way, EA Sports. It's about time that we get another one of these. Now, if we do get an Icon Moments player pick today, which we are due, what is the cost going to be? Now, as I take a look at a lot of the other player picks that have been released this year, they've been all between 600 to 800,000 coins, except for that one time we had the Prime Icon player pick that end of April time, the last one that we had. EA just slashed the price and made it super duper cheap. And you guys remember when this happened, right? A lot of the fodder went exploding because it was super duper cheap. So I still think for the first moments player pick of the year, I think they're going to have to make it around the six to 700 K range. I think they could make it more, but fodder is so cheap right now that I don't think it'll be too much more than like, if it's above 800 K, you know, people would probably still in, go and do it, but I think it's not going to be one that people would love if it's that expensive. So I think the six to 700K range would probably be pretty accurate and it would bring some hype, right? It would bring so much hype to the menus. This is just an SBC that people have been wanting to see for a long, long time. So if that does drop today, I mean, okay, let's talk this, right? Regardless, I do think there's going to be another Moments SBC today. Sundays for like the past month and a half have been the day where we get a new Moments Icon upgrade. So if they would do something crazy today and honestly dumb and drop like a Prime or Moments upgrade, which would be still, that'd be kind of dead. If they made a player pick that was Prime or Moments, they better make that dirt cheap. I think they know they have to do an Icon Moments only that's the only type of icon we want at this stage of the game. So, you know, regardless, I think there'll be some sort of SBC today. Uh, there's no other leaks. There's no uh, pack code that has been added for like the 94 plus moments upgrade technically is a part of swaps. So they could drop that pack like at any time. So that's in the code. Um, although I, I think they have to put in a different code for a pack since we had a separate code released. We have the 93 icon moments pack. Um, in swaps, but there was another code for the actual SBC that was released. So I think they'd have to release a code if they were going to do this 
I think the really the next step is the player pick. So regardless of what comes today, though, when we talk about SBC fodder, I really think that fodder, just like last week, is an incredible, incredible buy. Seriously, I mean, we're going to have SBCs throughout the week. We still don't know if we're getting daily player SBCs for Syria Tots. We had the Pellegrini dropped yesterday and was really, really cheap. It's a nice card. It's dirt cheap. Uh, and we like that, right? But as we saw on Friday, EA released a little infographic that said we are getting some daily SBCs. We don't know if that pertains to the players or if that was just to the flash challenges because we've had the daily flash challenges. We've had two yesterday. And of course, we had a bunch on Friday. So those these are going to continue, the daily flash challenges and the TOTS challenge SBCs. But hopefully the players are going to be continuing as well. We'll kind of find out more about that today. But regardless, uh, SBC fodder is going to go up some this week, 100%. Now, last week, some of your 86s and 87s had like the best return on investment. Also, last week, if you guys remember, on Sunday, we actually saw a really big market rise on some of our like 90 rated cards. Some of your 88s, 89s, 90, 91s. These cards actually had a pretty nice boost up because that 93 plus moments uh, pack that was out was a bit cheaper and uh, it was repeatable two times. So people were going out and doing that pack and especially crafting it with upgrades. I think that this week though, you know, besides an icon player pick or icon SBC coming today with all of these SBCs they've been releasing, like the Pellegrini is 80K, the um, Kessie card is 235,000 coins. I think that this week, probably with a lower rating on the Syria guaranteed, most likely gonna be happening on Wednesday. I think that I would look more into like the 84 to 86 range this week, maybe even the 83s, because I just think that with the Serie A Tots team being so cheap, like we expected, I really think that's going to make a lot of the SBC players that they'll put out pretty cheap as well. So that that would be my best guess on how uh, what range of fodder would be the best investment this week. But I think anything from 83 rated to 92 rated is probably a good investment right now. Again, it's the same weekly trend. Fodder gets low on the weekend, rises up into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We sell, and then boom, it goes lower again on the weekend. So whether you like to invest and go on a sign on this stuff, you're like, Nate, I'm not going to open upgrade packs this week, so I'm just going to make a big investment and try to make a bunch of coins before Ultimate Tots is here. I think that's a great idea. I also think that if you just want to do a club stock, my type of thing, right? Go through and buy one of each of these players as they're pretty low this weekend, and then hopefully sell them for like Tuesday, Wednesday, four, five, 6,000 coins more than what we're buying them at this weekend, especially on the higher tier cards that might bounce up that much. So I think it's a great time to buy um, on this fodder cards and, and in, in an investment in this way. If, it, you know, gold cards, team of the season cards, they're all good. I like the gold cards a little bit more because it seems that people just look to those for fodder. You know, think about the last couple SBCs that we've had. You know, Harry Kane has gone from like, he was 20K last week. He spiked to like, uh, 33 but like on the day of the moments SBC dropping last week he went from like 23k to like 40 because in the SBC solutions I think people just think about gold cards as fodder more so than the all the Taz cards that are out so I would really look at the gold cards first but investing in some of these really cheap tots cards uh is a great idea as well i mean we have four leagues i talked about this at the end of last night's video we have four different leagues of tots right now in packs all four that's why the, there's some really insane pack weight we've got rest of the world syria pro league and super league until today at 6 p.m they are all in packs and that's why you see crazy levels and crazy percentages in the store let me let me get uh go and show you this this is actually kind of wild right now they're running an 85 plus star duo players pack lightning round 15 minutes left it's a 90k pack there's a 48 percent chance of a tots player in this pack that means basically one in two packs every, every other pack should get you a tots card if with a 50 percent chance you know what we have 21 million coins because we just keep making coins we're gonna open one man let's do this we're gonna full degen it and open with coins i don't have the bronze squad active for maybe some extra pack of luck okay we're getting a man of the match uh, to Remy. Well, that's not a blue. Maybe blues show up after this. I don't think they do. Wow. So I got scammed. GG's. Uh, to Remy is there and I got myself a Hummels and the rest of that pack was terrible. So I did not make my 90 K back. Let's see if I pack a tots in the second one though, because the, the odds say that I should pack a tots in, uh, two packs. So we should get a blue here and we don't. Oh my goodness. These packs are lying to me, bro. And I packed, who is this Muller? man, EA sports, your pack odds 
are very fraudulent. Anyways, uh, that pack right there, which I'm sure some people are opening and people have been opening with all of the TOTS cards and packs, apart from that pack look that you just saw, evidently there's a 48% chance of getting a TOTS player. And that's supplying some of those higher tier TOTS, higher rated TOTS, a lot like those as we were just looking on the cheapest page guys like bremer who is 90 rated 91 rated these cards from the rest of the world tots team are just like instantly cheap today uh because of of all that supply like tavernier is um tavernier's 330k oscar's 330,000 coins i mean tavernier looks absolutely insane and is probably one of the best right backs in the game if not kind of going for that number one spot of the best right back in the game just doesn't have the links but, uh, you know, like that's, that's it from the rest of the world. Tots transitioning and talking about that a little bit, you know, 330,000 coins for Tavernier. That's an absolutely mental card. Oscar got a decent card as well. The rest of the ROT, ROTW team just doesn't look that great. There are some, again, like I said, cool cards in there, but very hard to link. Maybe just interesting to try out. Um, and, you know, that makes me think about the Serie A Tots card prices as well. And as we head into today on Sunday, just as we're used to thinking, um, Usually on the weekend, like right about now is the time where we see some of these cards hit their lower prices, especially on the top tier. Um, I still think though that on the top tier, more rare cards in the Serie A Tots team, I think these guys are too expensive. Um, you know, Teo is 1.1 mil at the moment. I still think he's a bit expensive. You know, Rafael Leao being 3.6, I think he is still too expensive, especially with the Ultimate Tots, which we talked about in yesterday's video, still kind of like impending, right? Ultimate Tots and some of these cards might be in Ultimate Tots. With that upcoming with so much potential great content and just looking back at last year a little bit, with some of the TOTS packs that they started putting out during Ultimate Team of the Season, if they do that this year as well, then I think a lot more of these cards are going to have some price corrections later on this week. But to counteract that, what we've seen the past couple of weeks is, think about League One TOTS, right? All of those cards were really low on like Saturday night, Sunday night, then they kept rising throughout the week. The difference is with these cards, you know, they're just not, it's plain and simple, they're just not as hyped. Um, you know, Leal, Dybala, Koulibaly, and Teo, they're really, really hyped cards. Berardi is very hyped. Um, but I just think that these cards, they might have a few rises later on this week, like Koulibaly, like the Tonali, maybe the, you know, some of the higher tier, more rare cards, they could have some fluctuations and Berardi being super duper hyped, right? And a lot of people want to try out that card, especially for 200k, but I just think that those rises won't last super long with ultimate tots upcoming except for some of the ones later on this week that maybe don't come back into packs we'll see what ea wants to do with ultimate tots and we'll again talk about that more later on this week but you know if you want to buy any of these for your team you know if it's like a vlahovic if it's a tonali maybe a tail i mean if you want to buy one for your team i'm not going to tell you to wait because i think you are going to see some low prices this weekend they could rise up a little bit monday tuesday wednesday um, and then maybe go down later on, but use the cards again. It's a fine balance right now. The, the market in this game right now is a very fine balance of, you know, it's the end game. We are in, we're in June now and we only have a couple months left of this game. So if there's end game cards that you want to use for your team, then go and use them. Right. I mean, I, we were talking yesterday about selling some cards before uh, ultimate team of the season comes and yeah, we want to be conscious. And I just wanted to inform you guys of what I expect to see on the market. But also if you're like Nate, I bought Salah for 2.1 million coins, and I don't care if he drops to 1.5. He is in my endgame team. Then so be it, right? That's 100% fine too. So that's just kind of, I wanted to make that distinction uh, because I know a lot of you guys are like, this is this is the end game for me, and I just want to buy a card, put it in my team, use it, and be done and, and not think about it anymore because this is tots, right? So if that is you with any of these Serie A cards, then I think, you know, especially for... Some of these guys, like Akula Bali, I think Akula Bali is really, really cheap, like 499,000 coins. Yes, he could drop down lower today. If we get an Icon Moments player pick today, I think that would create some panic. There's going to be some more lightning rounds. Um, and of course, you're going to have upgrade packs coming out on Monday as well. We'll see what the, the pack weight looks like with these cards. But the cards that shouldn't get packed that much, Akula Bali, Tonali, Teo Hernandez, those guys. Teo Hernandez is like one of the best left backs in the game with the French links as well. So, you know, I, I definitely don't hate it if you just want to go and buy it and be done with it. Uh, I think that you might see a lower area in the next day or two with some of these cards to maybe go ahead and do that if you really want to. So that's kind of how I feel about the market at the moment. And also, if you guys have like lower tier cards, like I bought some Cordobas 
I actually bought Cordoba after. Um, yeah, man, look at this, bro. Everybody was buying Cordobas at like 26, 27,000 coins earlier in the week, and everybody was selling them on Friday after the, the first Gold Cup came out. Um, and Cordoba was like 32K. I actually went out and bought like 20 of them at 30 to 32,000 coins because I was like, man, this guy's gonna keep going up. So I bought a bunch of Cordobas at 32,000 coins, um, and now he's up to like 40K. And people are going to be using these cheaper cards to do that first goal cup game mode and to link together cards like a Pellegrini as they keep dropping these super cheap SBCs, people are going to go and buy cards to link them together. So, you know, I think that was really big and, and why that card's still going up. And I think you're going to continue to see that. So if you have the lower tier on the Syria special cards, just let them keep rising. The only thing you have to worry about is if they drop a player like let's say you have Alexandro, right? Is another great investment. And some of you guys in the stream on Friday were asking me, Nate, this guy's up to like 85K, should I sell? No, and look where he is now. Alexandro is flying, man, 120,000 coins. Like this stuff was just destined to continue to go up because of the first goal cup, because of people not having a ton of Serie A cards uh, in their club. And we saw that on Friday. And, and that's why I went out and I bought those Cordobas. And uh, the only thing you have to worry about, like I said, is if they dropped a left back SBC or, you know, with Cordoba, if they dropped a center back that was dirt cheap uh, as an SBC, you know, that might hurt his price a little bit. So that's the only thing you have to worry about with those cards for Syria out of pack specials. But if you're still hold on to those, holding on to those, I think it's a great idea. I think it's great because they should keep rising here in the next couple of days. Uh, and the rest of the market is kind of just chilling. We have seen some top tier cards after yesterday's video and after I think opening some eyes about ultimate tots, I think your best sell time for some of these cards like a Cristiano Ronaldo was last night and yesterday. He was like 4.5 million coins. Now he's in the 4-2 range. Some of the other top tier cards maybe down like 100, 200K. I just think there's a lot more downside there than upside. So I think selling is still a decent idea for some of those, especially as we get closer and closer to probably like two days away from leaks about ultimate tots. Just keep that in mind. We're going to start getting some more information about that soon. Now, really quick, let's talk Sunday content once again and what to expect today on the game. Of course, as I mentioned, the Icon Upgrade SBC should be dropping today, some new one. Hopefully, it's that player pick. We need it, EA Sports, especially this week where a lot of people view the cards in packs as a little bit less hype. If we would have an Icon Moments SBC and make it repeatable twice, uh, like a player pick again, that moment's player pick. If we had that repeatable twice for people to craft, that would be great. And that would make so many people want to go out and do upgrade packs. And it would bring some hype to the crafting and the upgrade pack process this week, 100%. So we would love to see that. We're also going to get MLS tots today. And if you did not see the leaked team already, this is the squad stats expected as well. Uh, Jill is in there. Mukhtar actually looks pretty cracked. Um, I used his, uh, what is it like a showdown card from earlier in the year and a lot of objectives. He looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited to use some of these guys being from America. A lot of you guys think that I look like, uh, Mr. Turner here. Uh, you know, I kind of see it kind of don't, but you know, it's just nice to have these cards coming in. Zimmerman's a dope card. I'm super excited about him. going to pair him with that Robinson showdown card and he's going to be a force in the defense. So, you know, the, the, the right back looks pretty solid. These cards are going to be dirt cheap, just like the rest of the world tots are and like the whole gamut of the second league, uh, secondary league tots cards are, but there's going to be some of these nice ones dropping today for MLS tots. And then you're going to have Zella Ryan as an objective looking like it's going to drop today as well. So today with the MLS coming into packs, you are going to see the removal of the pro league and the super league. So like Undab at 320,000 coins, he's up just a smidge. I can't believe that De Ketelera and Vanakin are both 40k. That's crazy to me. Those are both really interesting, different and fun cards to use. Being 40k for those is nuts. I almost want to club stock one of those before they go out of packs because I think they might go up. Balotelli's 198,000 coins. I kind of want to stock one of those too. You know, I don't think they're going to go up like incredible amounts, but I just think they're super dope cards. Um, and you know, they're going to get a little bit more rare since they've been rare in packs this whole entire time. So those cards are dropping uh, or not dropping. They're being removed from packs today and the MLS is going to come in. One last quick look at rest of the world. If you guys, uh, I'm sure you've seen some of these cards, you know, again, like this, uh, I don't even know how to say this guy's name, right? Tanase, it looks like a dope card statistically, but you see three star, three star. I haven't even looked at half of these cards because they've, they've all, you know, become instant fodder 
Goodwin is he he's 3-3 like EA should, could have done some more boosts in here this card looks kind of cool five-star weak foot um you know not bad he is six foot medium low average body type all right I'm gonna click off that card Ivy Lopez four star three star yeah so I mean a lot of these cards are just fodder and that's probably why the pack weight is so high with all of these secondarily tots cards being in packs but it makes for a very interesting time on the game, and it makes for some interesting packs that you maybe want to go and open. Just don't spend too many coins on packs. I just got to start spending my, my coins, lads, to be completely honest. We have 21 mil. We keep making coins. We actually, this is kind of interesting. Uh, we just cracked top 100. This is not really a flex to get top 100 in June. But if you go to the bottom of the top 100 list, oh, no, they kicked me out. No way. Wow. I was here, bro uh 109073 i was literally and i just dropped my in my tp by 100 you know 180,000 coins because i opened two packs but i must have not sold enough cards to stay ahead of these guys who were still selling because i was at uh 99th we were the, at the edge of top 100 just uh just earlier this morning so we were, we're right on that edge of getting in top 100 so that's cool uh definitely not a flex though like it used to be in older fifas because some people just you know fodder this year was a huge money maker for so many people and you could just have way more coins this year than ever with spc fodder and all the more spc content so that's actually going to be something i'm going to focus more on in fifa 23 that's kind of what i've decided is focusing more on the fodder aspect because it was so easy to make coins and we know that ea is going to continue rolling out with content so just you know thinking way ahead of term a uh, time but yeah man that's going to be the video for today lads i do believe because we just have our fingers crossed for that icon moments player pick today hopefully we get some other good content i really hope that the uh syria spcs are daily don't forget to keep track of your tokens by the way i have to do the league one tots challenge five to make sure to get my token out of there i gotta get this tots challenge done um and then i think this friday is going to be when we get the rewards and also the swap token so this Friday is going to be a really interesting Friday on the game. It's kind of all build up until then. But uh, yeah, make sure you don't forget about those swap tokens, whether objectives or SBCs and grinding those. So I hope you guys have a great Sunday. If you did enjoy today's video, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.